Hello there, my name is Ingus from IGS Electronics and today we're going to be trying out new PLC and that PLC is manufactured by Mitsubishi and it's the FX5 U series PLC I'm not sure, let's zoom in, oh look at it it's basically one of the latest uh, models in the FX series PLCs and only one in all, all the FX family that comes uh, has it come out has got a ethernet port for communications so pretty much that's what we're going to do today we have a look at the, how the communications work how to establish the communication then we're going to create some uh, small program where we do upload and download go through some inputs and outputs some basic wiring and then we look at how that works so if you are new to the channel like what we're doing here please consider to subscribing and clicking that notification button because we are going to be uploading videos on a weekly basis where you and definitely me can we can we possibly learn something new in industrial automation so let's get to it Now that the PLC is all set up and as you can see already wired it in So let me just take these leads off so you can sort of more or less can see all the inputs and outputs And before we get started I'll quickly uh, point out what sort of uh, kit we're going to be using today uh, We're going to be using a, a, what I am going to be using for programming this PLC Which is going to be a CAT6 uh, Ethernet cable, let me just zoom out Ooh, Wrong way CAT6 Ethernet cable, uh, standard, not standard, but uh, Panasonic CF53 industrial laptop. Yeah, and obviously, we're gonna have to use uh, for uh, FX5 series PLCs, we have to use GX Works to be able to program these units. So, uh, so we'll be using that as well. So, let me just get the zoom right back in. So, as you can see. This is the uh, uh, ES series PLC, so it takes 220 volts, which goes in here, and then it's got its own inter internal power supply. If you can see the little units down there, you can see it's a 024 and 024. You can use the internal power supply to power your uh, inputs if you wish, which we are going to be doing today. But as well, I'm going to show you that you can use as well the external power supply. All you need to do is uh, take the take the minus from the external power supply and run to the SS and all the pluses when, when it goes uh, to the sensors or switches whatever it goes and uh, it's just going to be returning uh, through, through through whatever switching system you're using returning back to 24 to uh, these X's in front which is, uh, starts from X0 all the way to with this PLC is 37 inputs and if you look at the outputs in the bottom as well and then I will demonstrate how we're going to create a small program demonstrate how that works. It is got the uh, com one, com zero, com one, com two, com three, com four, and com five. That you can use five different uh, the voltages or whatever you want to switch, volt free or with volt or different ACs or DCs. You have uh, five options so you can uh, use. So obviously, the any power or even if it's volt free and things like anything you want to switch goes first to the com and then whatever you're going to be programming in a plc will be switching that y according to this com block as you can see down there com zero goes from uh, y zero y one y two and y three and there's like a little block and it's a dark line in there I'm not sure you can see that and it just sort of creates this separation block in here so you can send then then the com one starts and it takes the next group and com two starts and takes them and so on and so on and that's how pretty much the the, the inputs and outputs are grouped out let me get some wiring done for the inputs with the power supply and i'll show you how the wiring works without the power supply now that i wired in uh yeah, some some of the wires so we are going to be using for the this test i'm going to be using the internal power supply which is which is in here supplied by the plc itself all i took the zero from here from this is a zero v and i try and I pretty much connected it that zero v to ss so pretty much now the inputs are powered from the neutral part of you and the reason i'll show you exactly how i test when i buy plcs and things like that that has how i test and so on then i'm pretty much going to be uh, the x0 which i'm not sure you can see it so now that i'm using the 24 volts out of the plc and now i can go to any as you can see in any of the inputs 
and they all pretty much receive uh, you can see in here receive 24 volt signals from the PLC basically and that could be anything switches sensors whatever you mean that's pretty much that's how you would uh, wire in because I uh, let me just add the switch to it and I quickly show you there we go now I added the switch and pretty much as you can see input uh, which one I collect the input to there it, out, uh, it comes on when you click the switch or it could be anything like that so that's pretty much how it works it takes 24 volt signals goes through whatever uh, and comes back to the PLC and activates that uh, input so let's let me show you how that works with external power spot and now that I uh, had a quick wiring to demonstrate for you now the SS which is part down here is connected to a power supply external power supply this guy down here in the minus down here and my plus is coming from the power supply going to the switch and from the switch going to the, uh, the, the last input we tested before and now you can use external power supply you can see so that's that's inputs how the how the inputs work if you uh, it's, it's up to you how you want to connect it and regarding the outputs let's first have a look at the program upload download we can download the uh, upload the a uh, well basically uh, send it to plc a small program and then uh, so we have a one output working and uh, uh, we, we will test how the output works Alrighty, now that my uh, GX works 3 is loaded up, let's first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna establish connection. Or oh, actually, we're gonna start a new project. This is new PLC, we start a new project. My PLC at the moment is in stop mode. So, uh, what we're we gonna do, and uh, in here you select what sort of P, uh, uh, CPU you're using. There's all of them in there. At least I'm using FX5, so I'm good on that one. So, let's just click on FX5. And what, what program we start going to using? I'm using the ladder as always. Then I create some sort of a project. And it's going to throw a couple of messages on it. If you want to read it, read it. I don't usually follow them. And from there on, you can see established connection. You go online. You can uh, do it this way. This is the way number one. You can do it this way. Uh, but what did I click down there? So let's read out what that was. So hopefully you can see it anyway. So you go online. The current connection destination. You go to that one. Click direct connect to CPU. That one. And it will show you uh, a sort of a CPU between CPU and computer. And it shows you what the, what the network card you have. My one is, you can see on the screen, that's what my network card is. And IP address, that's the, their IP address. So, and then I click OK. Actually, you to if you want to check your uh, connection, just click communications test. As you can see, my own is successful. So, that is about one way to do it. And if you can't be bored to go through and things like that, and just want to see what's going on in the PLC. Uh, you just can read it from PLC and it will establish it will go that way on as well so because uh, I already uh, established communication so it's not going to be asked me to do that again so you can just read from the PLC as you can see my PLC is empty so uh, I just read what it's got in there execute tell yes to all as well because the end that's pretty much what's going to be inside the PLC so you go to your uh, program body there's like a little breakdown so click on the main so usually it would come up like that so you click on main and the program body on the bottom that's pretty much for the basic things where you go it's, 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 it's sort of downloading uploading the program we're not going to get into programming as I said that, that that job is for the pros I'm a more into service engineering side of it so when I look at repair the PLCs take them in and out upload download programs and make some dis uh, small changes if you want to go into programming there's a lot of other people that does that so uh, I won't even get into it because that's a whole lot of different subject so for the test so we want to test our outputs what we're going to do we're going to create a small program and we are gonna go into a program a body in here and that will by clicking this button in here right mode which is f2 or that and we're gonna select a let's do uh, x0 that's the one we're gonna be using 
and we're going to put an output y0 y now y0 doing that let's see the camera's all there it's all there and every time you sort of uh that did that something new in the program you sort of need to compile it so uh, or convert it whatever they call it just go in there and convert the b and it's converts checks everything everything is okay and then from there on go online and then just write the plc select all and execute The PLC is not in a st stop mode, it will, um, that's a, yeah, that's fine. The PLC is not in a, st a stop mode, it will ask you to, uh, basically, to tell you it's going to do this and it's going to stop and this and that. So, uh, it says, now, please reset the CPU module once, once to run it. Uh, please reset to restart the CPU module. So, basically, that's exactly what we're going to do. So, we're just going to restart the CPU. And that's how you upload and download and connect to fx5 series plc now that i have uh, loaded the program as you can see the, it is not in the run mode so we, it, it sort of told us that we need to reset the plc that's what we're going to do we're just going to click stop mode click reset put run mode and uh, as you can see at the p run button is on and at the plc is on so uh, the one thing I forgot to do is wire in the little contactor. We're going to show you the outputs. Contactors in. So uh, let's test a little program that we put in there. I mean, it's, it's a tiny one, but it's a program. So it's sort of demonstrating by clicking the button. Pretty much that's what we created in there. It's just very, very simple and crude. As you can see, I have 24 volts coming into my com and the Y is sending a so the once the once I click the switch or the switch closed, the uh, the Y zero closes, and it sends the twenty four volt signal to the A one. Pretty much as like a basic relay. That's uh, the crudest way to explain how uh, the, the 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 PLCs work. It's very if you really look at it, it's very, very simple. It's the programming part where you really need to get it, get your head around it because there's so many things you can do in it. Let me just quickly remove that that. It takes a time to get your head around it. I said I'm working more on a, more on a service side rather than programming. I know enough program to get me by, but when it comes down to more complicated things, I, do, I usually let that for the big boys to do it. So, and then I forgot to uh, run you through this part, the little PLC part in here. So this is a quite a, quite a, a nice addition. There's an analog block in here. I think it's two inputs and one output. And then it's an RS-485, I believe, that one on it. And it's got another place for the uh, SD card, which is a hell of a good addition from Mitsubishi to have. So uh, it sort of gives you more options you can do. You can wire in uh, one analog signal and have uh, or two. And then and, and, and without having an a, a additional card to be added to it. So that's pretty much that's what the, this part on it. The SD part is a hell of a good addition because you can sort of save the program in there. I keep it on an SD in case the PLC goes bonkers. You have a nice uh, backup unless you had it in your uh, laptop already pre-saved. So I think that will do now. Hopefully that all of it lot of made sense. And then and then uh, now we know how to get program in and out, and it's a lot lot easier now to connect to these PLCs, and they're much more faster than other ones. So uh, hope that helps you. And uh, thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, please like. And I will see you in the next video.